All right, things uh, things went a little bit bad to worst in the last two. Our crew was staying relatively under the radar, except for Zoro, who had been captured. And now at this point, Jonathan just has a lead on basically all of them, an idea of where all of them are and who all of them are. As if knowing how many there were wasn't enough already. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shaq the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episodes 200 and 201 of our One Piece watch today. We hit the big two hundo. We're gonna hop right into these. If you're new to the channel, drop us up and hit that big boy bell. Let's get into it. They can be among us. What's he doing? Just is he working on it? They're fixing it up. Hey, this ship has personality. Nah, they have an emotional bond. Oh, chill. <laughs> I, he looks kind of old. Is he? Is he not even close? He's like so intrigued by like the the patchings on the ship. <laughs> Sanji trying to stay like, <laughs> yeah, trying to be kind of a, a low radar. Luffy's kind of like Zoro, just kind of walks around. Can see why they'd be kind of confused by the layout, though. I mean, it's large. Off to jail. Oh, there's the center. Yeah, it's probably like the very bottom. It looked like like it was underneath, like a dungeon. Probably underneath in the center. Are those gonna be Robin for a second? Oh, is that the phone? Do they have like little cell phone types? I feel like all of them had been like big desktop type phones. Mini transponder snails. Ah, they're like they're like radios. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> but yeah, that's my name. Oh, what? What the? Wait, is that the commander that Robin left? Oh my gosh, it is. She just rolled his uniform and left him. Oh, they're gonna think he's a pirate because he has no uniform or anything or ID. She took it all. She is being heavily spied on because they know she's not who she says she is. Bro, they actually think he's a pirate. Shepard already got here. Oh, they're gonna be in so much trouble when they find out. Usopp's putting the piece together. He's gonna cause some trouble. Yeah, he's gonna pretend like he knows who he is. You are so good, Usopp. Let's go. Yeah, Kunduriano. <laughs> He's almost playing into it too much. Stabbing him with his nose. You can just put him in a cage with a couple pirates. Dang, Usopp! Hell yeah! This man's a fast thinker. He's brave. Well, it doesn't really take a ton of bravery, but still, he's he's really selling this. Dang! Let's go, Usopp! Now he's just getting beat up by, by pirates, man. This guy could not get more unlucky. I would feel kind of bad for him, but he was really rude to that first that first navy guy that he met. Yeah, a little bit. He's wondering where they went. That's exactly right. Yeah. We'll lead the way. He wants to bait them in, play traps. The two pieces he's missing. Robin's still on the board because he knows exactly where she is. And they haven't really made the first move, really. Luffy came to him. They've all kind of found themselves in bad situations. It's almost too good to be true. He knows that's not true. See, but he'd be he would have to be fine with this this major being in jail. I guess he can play dumb, like, and just pretend like he doesn't know. I feel like that's gonna come back to bite him. See, I thought he knew. Like that's why he knew that Robin's Robin. I guess it kind of just confirms it to him that Robin isn't who she says she is. I think he's still got like a 100 percent like a check on them. Doesn't look like someone we know. Oh, it's what's his name? Wait, what's he doing? A matter to attend to? Is he coming to ask them about the ship? I think he is, yeah. I think he's curious about something. The long nose. He's curious about the ship. Oh, that's kind of nice that he you can see that he's worried about it. Mikhail is a nice guy, too. Not all of it, dude. It's unacceptable. We can no time. Well, I ghosted part of it. I ghosted, we still haven't met. 
Oh so my bad. gosh, the fact that they're talking about this is going to drive me more insane. It's like I was supposed to be at a point where I'm just like, huh, I, I did, I forgot that. about that. No, that lives rent free in my head, bro. And the fact that they're talking about it makes me even more, I'm, uh, I feel like I'm insane. <laughs> Story checks out. <laughs> That's true. He did. He did see exactly what he saw. Whether people want to believe it or not, this is kind of wholesome interaction. Uh, Usopp basically has. This is so cute. Two ship mechanics. Yes, it was foggy. How does he know? How would he know who it was? Could be, you know what? You can't be serious! I am so done. I am so done. It's like this show. When you repair the ship, it's just the errors that you usually don't. That is such obvious advice. What are you talking about? Dog, it's like the show knows I've been freaking out about that ghost. And then it just like, it like, like hovers the carrot right above me. I'm so done, man. It almost sounded like Mikhail wanted them to escape. He's like, if you are back on the ship, if you do get back to your ship. Slowly, Luffy, slowly. Wow, I'm actually surprised Sanji was able to realize that. Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. It's, he's playing into the chess match. He's not taking the bait. Uh, I mean, there might be another way in. <laughs> Wait, are they actually just going to book it in? Does not waste any time? Like a Gatling gun. He was kind of teasing that. Oh my gosh. They hear him coming? <laughs> Our hero! Don't come! Zoro's so cheeky, man. Wait, where's where are the soldiers? Wait, they ran right past the soldiers? Oh yeah, the cell. It's like a it's a crocodile cell. The sea prism stone. Dude, what? Hello? They're all getting just captured. Oh well, that's plenty to get you captured, actually. Yeah. I don't think you can break that. A cannon. Oh, his leg is kind of a cannon. Come on, Sanji. Did they not take his possessions? Oh. It's going to be something you're just going to have to worry about, Sanji. A seashell? This will look like just freaking witchcraft to him. They're just letting him? It's the recorder dial. And it's from when he recorded this well-tempered snake. Oh my gosh. All the question marks? It's not going to be an impact, is it? This one he got from one of the Satori brothers. The flavor dial. That's right. I hate that it's called a flavor dial. I know you can store different flavors, but still. It's going to explode. I still love how all of the officers were just letting him mess with these dials. They're like, yeah, we'll, we'll see what you got up your sleeve. Jailbreak! I mean, they blew up the cages, yeah. That's pretty successful to me. It actually is a jailbreak. He's got his swords back. Nice. They're unleashed, unhinged. They're all together too. And they're the strongest when they're all together. They ain't gonna be stopped now. They just need to be fine Chopper, Nami, and Robin. Oh, they had people waiting outside and inside. Uh, wrong guy! How did you guys fail this so miserably? And which way did they go? He's so chill about it. This might be part of his plan. He's like, oh, they're all together. Nice. Well, well. Yeah, I like how he wasn't part of that. He was like knocked out. Like I said, he almost sees it as a good thing that they're all together. It makes things simpler. Because it might also attract the others since they're all going to try to escape together. Those kids. And she's found a way out. Or I'm assuming that's what, like, oh, and she's been studying and finding out is, like, the exact time they should leave to make it as easy as possible to escape. I think the hardest part about everything will straight up just be getting onto the Mary. Because, I mean, as they start sailing out, everybody's gonna see them. It's just gonna be, you know, the sitting duck, literally. Let's go to episode 201. <laughs> Yeah, inherently this is just looking worse for them. I didn't think about it like that. I love how they're just taken by this persona that Usopp gave him. On the Riano. Oh, they might actually have to buy their way out. 
There's one way. Violence. If there's no escape, they have to make one. Thousand. So can I call them navies or marines? Call them navy. Did I say navies? Like they, they are the navy. We're also marines. Okay, well you're gonna pretty much have to fight out. Hey, he's Gatling again. See, that was easy collapse. Not even sweating it. And meanwhile, Jonathan's just vibing. Oh my gosh. How did he fire that fast with one, one like musket looking gun? It shouldn't be possible. I do not care. Yeah. <laughs> Livy wants to have a conversation. It's like a little like friendly rivalry between the two. Jonathan seems like he's been a pirate, bro. He's just like so lighthearted about this kind of stuff. He's probably just lived a long life or like a very intense life. Especially to become a commander of a fortress like this. He face palmed. He actually just face palmed. Hey, you said to bomb him. Here goes his scheming again. Yeah, they, they blew up the prison. He knows what's up. He knows they can't win against Luffy if he's got a bounty like that. You can just inherently leave the counterattack at the ship, but you don't want him to get that far. But a bit a bit. It's a little watch that pops the snail out. That's so cute. The weapon. Oh, the bridge is a really good show point. Yeah. Showdown on the bridge. The straw gate. Is Unit 55 like super gung ho about their jobs? He's picked them for a reason. Is he not a big fan? Is he like, scared of them? Damn, Jonathan doesn't seem like scared or moved by anybody. I think she's gonna cover for them since they've helped her so much. And they haven't really even said out loud if they, they're wondering where where Nami and Chopper are or Robin. Well, they, they would know where Robin is because Usopp was with her. You just gotta book it. So just give them up. Dan Kobato, a real one, man. Now she's gonna help them get out. I think. Oh my gosh, Kobaz. Is she serious? Wait, she's not trolling? And then he's just gonna admit it. I guess because he kind of feels bad, maybe. That's the look of. I wonder why I didn't think about that. You know, you would have thought that she- Okay, she's passing out. So it's blood and pirates, I see. Don't let her ever watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Why does she pass out, like, smiling, laughing? No, it's not me. I guess we're just under the impression that it's a doctor. One doctor that's pretending to be a pirate. Or a pirate that's pretending to be a doctor. She did help you. They both helped you. You're not hitting Chopper. It's me. Just me. You know me. It's taking a little bit for her to process, but it makes sense why. Especially if this fortress never gets any action. How did she not just assume they were the pirates? I guess because everybody has this view of pirates being pure evil. That's why she was scared at first. Oh, yeah. Money! Money! I'm so embarrassed. Oh, good. She is paying out the favor. Thank you. Thank you. She a real one. Yeah, judging off her reaction to them being pirates, more like a knee-jerk reaction, if anything. Nami and Chopper are focused on going to the boat. Luffy and all of them are focused on finding everybody, and then Robin's focused on figuring out what time they need to leave. And once Luffy set his mind on something, it's not going to be changed. This is a little misadventure. It's very cute. I believe there's going to be like a big battle on the bridge, honestly. I'm very smart. Just transport him. Chopper's going to be much more recognizable, considering he's an animal with a hat on. Budget cuts. Right by where her, or right where her father is. Well, you're gonna have to check places either way. Try and find them. If you think you've caused trouble, you should see what Luffy and Sanji got themselves into. They blew up a cave. 
Oh, this is the an insane choke point. Oh, wait, there's two like parts to it. You could like run across if you wanted to. Oh my gosh, how did they not see them? They are blind. They're starting chilling on that thing. Hey, what are the, all those bushes at the very end that cover the entrance? Marines? What? Where did they come from? Okay, you're gonna have to fight through, sorry. There were three in one box. Oh my gosh, so many NPCs. So many easy mode AI. The hot blooded unit. This is the guy that, that Jonathan seemed kind of scared of. I think it was Jonathan. At least they have team spirit, you know what I mean? Luffy's like, I love singing. Okay, that one went down like a pillow. Wait, this is just easy mode. Hey! Zoro to the rescue. Watch your slingshot who stop helps. Why does he have boxing gloves? Hello? I like how he's like in like the position in two, like it's a box too. What the hell? Hey, that's cheating. He was ready for it. He matched being able to stretch in a sort of way. He's got to go over his legs. They know all their weaknesses. Ooh, stop. They, they genuinely need help, please, bro. I, I'm sorry, Spider-Man? Oh, is that the reject? Wait, no. Which one is that? Is that impact? Is regular impact? He's like slowly impacting the sword off of it, I believe. It's spared some time. These poor Marines stood no chance, man. They're so outclassed. They could, they could literally kill all of them if they wanted to. Luffy's just lifting up the pile. Bro, they're just like insects to him. Like he is like Luffy could like, like found an ant pile and he's just kind of like, like scooting it aside. Like, oh yeah, they're kind of in the way. I'm waiting for like the captain of this unit to step in. Jonathan was scared of him, man. Oh, wait. Oh, there you go. I mean, he really can't be restrained. He can blow up too. That will kill them. Oh, or us all with the bridge too. He just keeps using the impact dial. They were still doing that. He was still swinging his sword at him. He just kept using it wherever he swung it. He's falling standing up. And uh, Usopp's diving. Okay. Oh, battle on the bridge took less than half an episode. And they destroyed the entire, not the entirety of it, but destroyed a big chunk of it. I keep forgetting it's called the straw gate. Well, you sent all of them to the bridge as a choke point. You think they're not going to fight their way through? What did he need 22 minutes for? Are they getting ready to dive? Is that the next check for choke point? Oh, I mean, they're just set up by Mary, I think. Doc 88 is where Mary is, right? Like, I think Robin needs to make a move now. Wait, oh, it is them. Dude, bro, this is just overkill, honestly. They're on every square inch. Oh my gosh. Wait, they are all together, except for Robin. Oh, this is so awkward. I still can't believe that the one like that, that Robin was in was like, like, 20, 30 episodes out. I'm so glad I never watched that. Why did they do that? I'm sorry. I, I, that's that's such a, a sidebar. So now our entire group is back together, except for Robin. Who Robin's kind of just scheming a little bit still. And honestly, this happened a lot sooner than I anticipated because I believe there's still five more episodes of this arc. We're halfway through G8. And halfway through G8, our whole group is back together and they're surrounded by the Navy. So maybe we're going to go through the process of being, them being locked up again and having to escape again. It's going to be up to Robin or it's just going to be all out chaos at this point. But who knows? Either way, I am still enjoying this. I think it's dragging a tiny bit in some areas just because like we know that they're going to have to eventually escape. But again, I think still the driving factor of this arc is Jonathan and how he's, he's kind of just intrigued by them. I like it a lot. I wouldn't be shocked if Jonathan than had some crazy backstory that we don't know about yet because it would only explain his his mischief but i am glad to see everybody back together again because while i do like their separate adventures here and there especially in skypea whenever they're all together they just bounce off of each other so well but guys this has been it for episodes 200 and 201 of our one piece watch through again we hit that big two hundo very excited again we're halfway through g8 once we finish g8 we are on to the next arc as always i hope you enjoyed the episode be sure to drop us up on the channel if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace